G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play series. Uh, we are back in the solo player world this week. We are doing um, tasks again. I have to start the secret project and I have to do the iron farm. Or at least that's what I should be doing. But see, I've even got the bits of paper. Start the secret project. Fix the iron farm. Except that I got distracted by an image. I got distracted. I was watching um, Star Wars Clone Wars while I was clearing all of this, uh, all of the wood over here, all of these trees over here for the secret project. And I came across this image and I thought, wow, that building there would look really cool in my world. Um, so I started building something else. I'll show you the reference image of what I've got. And um, <laughs> yeah, you can see. Here it is here. Now, me being the master of distraction, I decided that, well, I'd really like to build that. It would really suit my world really well to do that. So I'm going to build that. I'm going to do that with great... It's going to happen now. I'm not going to fix the iron farm. I'm not going to finish the secret project or get started on the secret project. I'm just going to get stuck into this building thing. So we need to find somewhere that is going to suit that picture. And I think I've already found the perfect spot. Let me show you. I am standing just over from where I was. I was just over there and I have moved down here. I think that I could potentially do something around there. And it wouldn't be too far from sort of the main part of the city. So I'm, I'm going to be spreading this way anyway. The only thing is, I sort of want water to come around it like it did in that image. So I'm going to need to get down in here and potentially build a river. I wonder where I could make the river go. Um, I tell you what, let me... I mean, this hill here is pretty well perfect for what we're doing. Like, it's a good a good slant down and it's a good sort of shape. But I need... Yeah, I'm going to need the river to go sort of through there. Um, hmm. Let me get down into it and have a look. Okay. If we fly over here... So, the only thing is... Uh, this is going to be a lot of work. I like a lot of work. I'm not going to shy away from a lot of work. Um, if I... Hmm. If I sort of... Wait. No. If I take my shovel... <laughs> if I dig out sort of this area here and dig over in that direction, like, is that going to take it in the right place? Let me just... Hang on. I'll pick up this stuff and then I'll zip into um, hmm does it hmm, I don't know I don't know if it goes from here let's go and free cam let's have a look uh, see it would be good to th to sort of mix that in that little bit there because that's going to save me a bit of work oh that's a lot of dirt to move <laughs> I need to clear these trees so I can take a look I'm going to do that I'm going to clear some trees and then I'm going to come back and we can have a look and see where this river is going to go. <laughs> in answer to the question, what does it look like? This is what it looks like now without trees in it. Isn't that good? That's so handy. Uh, so um, I'll go into free cam and we can just have a look again. This is going to be a lot of free cam in this episode, I feel. So this is what we're left with. Now, what I'm thinking is we bring it from here like might have to do something with that over there. Um, okay. Focus. If we go there and there, cutting out those two spots, then we can bring... Uh, and there's a hole down there. Okay. If we bring it across to over there... Uh, yeah, if we bring it across to here, and then we could go... We can go down here and take it into the hole, like like a waterfall going down into there. Uh, or do we 
come down there and go around? No. I feel like that's a lot of work. Th this whole thing's a lot of work. Um, mm, there's a nice big, that could be a big pond sort of thing there. I think, I think, uh, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the first bit. I think I'm just going to keep it simple and just go, go straight for the hole. I think come down here and down there. I might, uh, do I want to go back in there? No. Okay. Enough of me being indecisive. Let me get stuck into this. I'll throw it into um, a little time lapse here and let's have a look and see what it looks like when I get started. Oh, wow. Okay, so that little bit there, <laughs> a little bit above my shoulder there, <laughs> that's about 45 minutes worth of work just to dig that out. That's crazy. Um, and I've still got some problems with the water because I haven't bothered to make the edges nice and straight or anything. So I need to get in here and sort of do some work on the water and, and try and get this to stop. Anyone who has ever done any of this sort of stuff, any sort of river work or anything like that, you know what a pain in the backside um, doing <laughs> doing water work is. <laughs> it's, it's so difficult. Uh, so that's 45 minutes work just to do this bit. Um, huh. I've got a lot to do. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip to the bit where I've just done it. I think that's the best bit. I'll stick to the bit. I'll I'll just skip and I'll 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 have a river ready for you because we haven't even got to the building yet. We're like almost ten minutes into this move into this video, I think. So um, let me uh, let me get <laughs> let me get some work done, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll come back to you at the other end. Right, I've just emptied out some stuff that I have with me and we will fly over here. Look, I put a beacon down because as you can see, I've done a lot of work. <laughs> exactly as I said, um, the beacon has helped greatly. Uh, having haste to out here has really helped me a lot. Uh, so I've got this area sort of in a position where I'm where I'm ready now. I've fixed all the water. I threw some bone meal in there. I've done this edge here, um, going all the way around there, uh, and then brought the river down and dug out all the way down there as well. Um, yeah, so I've, I've done a fair bit and I've sort of prepared myself for, for what I need to do. The only thing is, I, I still feel like this bit here is too close. I might have to move that more. Um, this is days of work. This is <laughs> this has been a long time. Um, yeah, so you can see you can see what I've done. I've created a big river that comes down um, from up the edge here, like comes down here, goes into the big bit there, comes down to there because I might extend it out later on. Um, it's a little bit square coming into there. I'm, I'm sort of still working out where the sand is going to go and things. I like to put the sand in the right areas for where the river would be. Um, but we're getting a general shape of it um, sort of coming in and going down. I, I This bit here is still way too straight, um, but I haven't worked out what to do with that. And, I, and the waterfall, I don't know. I... <laughs> <laughs> but I need to get building at some point or I'm going to go crazy because this has been an enormous, enormous task so far. We need to get some blocks down. So let me get to that. And place blocks I did and now I'm finished. Uh, as you can tell, 
<laughs> I've decided to put down a little bit of a wireframe. Uh, I want to have an idea of how this thing's going to fit into this spot and what the perspective is going to look like. And I have struck a small problem. And that is, so I have the image that you've seen. I'll throw it up again. Hang on. Okay, here it is again. Right, so that's that's the image I have. And the problem is I can't see the other side. Now, thanks to Mr. Lucas, who was the uh, the head honcho for that movie, um, he did actually give me another perspective, which is fantastic. Let me show you what that perspective is, because that perspective comes from over here. Okay, so this is the other side of it, right, from over here. The problem is that in those pictures, he has played with the perspective. The cylinder buildings move depending on which side you're taking the picture from. So I don't know what it looks like from the front. All I have really is just the one side. I'm going to work on it more from this side rather than this side. And this side, I'll just have to guess and, and work out what the front of all of this is going to look like. Um, I'm going to get stuck into building and I will, I will show you what I get up to. I'm finished. No. <laughs> this was a big task. This is, this is huge. This, let me show you where I got up to. Unfortunately, I have run out of time for this week. Um, but um, let, me, let me take you over and show you what I've got up to. Um, so this is, this is where we're up to. We, we've, we've managed to get a fair bit of this, um, this building and these buildings done. Um, I'll take you on a, on a little bit of a, a tour around. Um, so we have the main area down here um, is, is sort of done. We, <laughs> so what I've been doing is I've been like doing a bit of this building, then going, oh, I need to do a bit of that. Bit. Now I'll throw up to that one up there and then I'll go up to that one there and do that there. And then I think, oh, well, I need some, I need some sort of forest or something like that around here. So I'll start doing these. I did some cypress trees and things like that. Um, let me, let me sort of take you around and, and show you. So if we were to come in by boat, this way, this is currently the only way in. Um, this is what we start with, which is this little sort of trip up here. Um, we've got a beautiful little stairwell with a good wall next to it and things. I do have the shaders on, obviously. Um, and then we've got this main building here. I think, I think they might have to change. I think the mud there has to change. And obviously I haven't done interiors in here yet, uh, but we're, we're getting there. This has got some nice little walkthrough areas where you would be able to look out on the view here, which is just beautiful. It's, it's such a gorgeous area. Um, there are some little, you'll see some little bits of string and things around. I really wanted to be able to use vines and, and I, normally shy away a little bit from using vines because obviously you have that problem of them spreading like down here. Um, but I thought, well, with a mixture of glow lichen and string, I can sort of, I can sort of restrict its use and the glow lichen looks really good. Like the glow lichen looks like a bit of texturing on it as well. So I think I think all up I'm sort of capturing it. It's just going to be a work in progress that needs a little bit of um, a little bit of time to it, as well as working out what the interiors would be, working out how you would get into each building, why each building exists, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so we've got the main um, the main part of the building down over here, as I said before, with the two spires that come up. Then we've got this circular building here, which I haven't finished the back of this um, yet. I might I might just turn the shaders off for a bit because it's it is a little labour intensive. There's a lot going on here. Um, so on this side, I've managed to get this sort of done here. Um, 
there's a lot of detail going into these things and I, I really like it. So going with the composters and note blocks between um, two half slabs so they're not a solid block gives a very different look, gives a bit of a um, sort of a depth and a bit of a bit of something different in the middle there, which is what I wanted. Um, we've we've textured it up again with vines and things using um, the mud and the brown mushroom, which is an interesting thing, an interesting sort of blend. I like this one here. I went more with my sort of normal idea of darkening the top and sort of bringing it down, a bit of jungle, um, jungle wood in there as well. And um, this one here is a bit more sort of I, I made it noisy and that was what I wanted to do was to give it some texture from a distance to give it an overall sort of colour thing going on. Um, I have thrown in my, my lovely little trick up the top there to give a little bit of dark shadow around the top. Um, and then these two tiered, uh, two tiered copper roofs that are all waxed in this state um, with a little bit of blue around there too, to again, give it like a bluish tint to something that's happening in there, a little bit of openness, maybe it would look like a little bit of light shining through, which it does. Um, this one here, I've done very little to so far. This one, I've just sort of jammed it together to get, to get it finished. So I had a thumbnail. Uh, let's have a sleep. Hang on. Okay. That's better there. Um, where was I up to? Yeah, this one here, I just sort of threw it together to, to have something that was there that was done. Um, and we need to fix things like how the roof sits and things like that. But, but we're getting the idea of the shape and the, the color and things. And this one up here, we're just short on the bottom. Um, and, and obviously at this point here, I started rushing a little bit, but putting the gardens in under the windows. Um, again, this is Blue Nerds texture pack or a mixture of Blue Nerds texture pack and my texture pack just for the flowers. And I get these windows as well. So that's a thing. Um, up the very top of the, um, up the very top of the, ooh, we need to fly of the larger of the two um, cylindrical buildings, these ones, um, I did do a little bit of sort of finishing the wood off in here and things like that. I wanted to see if I could do like a woven sort of pattern to sort of make it look like it's woven in and out, um, which which I think I sort of captured. This will be, um, this will be a, um, like I think a dining area, there'll be some stairs coming up to this. Um, down below, we haven't even got, I think we haven't even got a way into this building. And, um, and oh yes, we do, we're here. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> we've got this here. Um, yeah, so we haven't managed to do anything else in here yet or anything. And, and as I said, the bottom of it's all sort of, uh, sort of, unfinished um yeah so that's um that's where we're up to we as i say unfortunately the the task got a little bit bigger than i was able to to complete in one episode so this will be a two-parter but that's okay um i th i th it looks it looks great i'm really loving doing this and then let's do this okay um, yeah, so one more look at it. Um, what, what didn't I tell you about? Oh, some little textures on the roof. There are some funny things in the reference image um, that are hard to see. It's a bit blurry and things like that. But, um, you know, I'm not trying to copy it exactly, but I wanted to get the gist of what was happening there. Um, that That's the thing. So, yeah, I think adding some of those things in, keeping these two orange, having these blue, that was all intentional. Um, any other little tricks? Oh, the, the little windows, um, having the reverse stairs in there just gave a little bit more depth to those. Um, and going with these, so on these pylons here, normally I would just run a pylon down, which would be the dark oak. Um, I, I really wanted to sort of give it something else. So I tried this with the sandstone and I like the way that came out. A little bit of 
a um, little bit of something different. Yeah, so so yeah, it's it's come up really good, and I'm really happy with it. I I really love what this is becoming. It um, I have problems with uh, vines that I'll need to tackle at some point, but um, it's it's coming together pretty cool and. All in all, it looks pretty good. Like, like pretty, it pretty well fits in with, you know, these buildings over here, going with all these styles and things like that. Um, oh, uh, yes. So, so going in with these and these over here, and even that over there as well. So it all sort of comes together nicely and and fits in with the area. Um, yeah, we need to start, I think I've said it before, even though I was doing tasks and I haven't touched the tasks for this week, so that's bad job by me. Um, thank you so much for joining me, guys, and thank you for forgiving me uh, not finishing this. Where should we do it? From up here? Let's put the, we can put the shaders back on and do all the fancy stuff. Alrighty, so um, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Um, I really appreciate every one of you. I love you all to death. You guys are fantastic. Um, I think we're going back to Craftworks again for the next episode, and we've got some fun and games going on over there at the moment. And, um, yeah, that, that'll do us for this week. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in a week. Love you all. Bye-bye.